All right, we're the blue player in the map is Europe, and we have three in Russia, four in the Orient, nothing in North Africa, four in West Africa, three in Spain, three in France, three in the British Empire, nothing in Iceland, two in Scandinavia, three in Central Europe, nothing in Italy, nothing in the Dinaric Alps, nothing in Southeast Europe, and nothing in Eastern Europe. This blizzard doesn't do anything. This blizzard makes the noob corner harder to hold. This blizzard makes Spain a two-point hold. Also, red's going for Spain by the looks of things. Or maybe West Africa. Ooh, these four blizzards here make the West Africa and Spain a one-point hold right here. That's a round one bonus for the white player. This blizzard doesn't do much. Neither does this one. So the only good blizzards are right here in the bottom left corner that red's going for. Black player's going for the noob corner and they get it. If they push my three out of there. One player didn't ready up, so we have a bot. And the bot gets a round one Italy with a lot of troops in it. Question is, do I fight red for the West Africa? I think I in fact do. We take this risk and we hope to get away with it. They do go first in the turn order, which is a problem for me. I think there's gonna come in and push me out. Ooh, but they hit the three first. That was a mistake. They should have gone for my six first. Fortifying away was a smart choice. Ooh, the white player fails to get the Daneric Alps and they don't break the bot. I think that's a mistake. I would love to see the black player try and use his four, put some troops on there and get Spain. Put some pressure on red from behind. Looks like they're doing exactly that. And the bot's going for North Africa as well. Here's a problem, even if I beat red, we have to deal with the black player up here right above us. It's gonna be a problem. We're all fighting for this honey pot in the bottom left over here. Bot's going crazy over there. Four troops for us, because we've been losing territories like crazy. I'm gonna take away two territories from the red player, that way they get one less troop, because they'll put them down below the 15 mark on territories, reduce their bonus a little bit, and call it good. I should've done one more in case I'd lose a territory. I could've gotten five troops next turn. They've switched over to Scandinavia and they lose the 4v2 roll. They also move very quickly, so they might be an experienced player. They fortified away from me to block Spain from the black player. A good move on their part. White breaks the bot and gets good dice, taking out them, at least out of North Africa anyways. They are in the strongest position right now, while the three of us over here are fighting for this honey pot in the bottom left corner. We've all fallen for the trap. Oh, I wanted to see that 11 hit that 7, it would have been beautiful. No, no, the honeypot trap, we're all falling for the honeypot trap, no. The bot grabs France. My best hope here is that the bot does something to either the red player or the black player to kind of get them off my back a little bit. Four troops for us, I'm only going to attack one territory this turn, keeps my troop high. Harder for the black player to get my 11 stack out of there. The red player stacked over here. They're trying to block the black player from getting Scandinavia. They choose to not break the bot. And the white player's loving this with their plus 12 bonus. They are far in the lead here. They're just defending against the bot and holding North Africa and Southeast Europe. And now they go for the Daneric Alps. Unless we hurry up and settle who gets this honeypot, the white player's just going to win this. And they're breaking the bot. The black player gets seven troops. They are not going to let me have this honeypot. It's all going right here, isn't it? Four up there and three down there. I guess three is better than the seven. I don't think we're getting this honeypot anytime soon. Eight troops for the bot. I would love to see the bot slam this six. Yes, then get strong here and then come down to deal with this 11. Not that the six is a threat to me. The 11 is right now. Oh, and there it goes. And it got good dice too. But it did fortify away. Well, that's one less person down here, but I still have to deal with this guy over here. Make sure they can't attack me next turn. I mean, I guess they could, but they'd have to stack here and lose it. I will have this honey pot or I will die trying. 17 troops for the white player. Black player, please stop fighting me for this honey pot. Go for your, your noob corner into Scandinavia. Why haven't you tried to grab this yet? You're just fighting me for this while the white player takes over the entire board. Let's try a little diplomacy over here. Give them the old fisty bumpies right here and be like, hey, let's get along. And maybe they fortify this out of there and, you know, they have Spain or something. Right now, they're just guaranteeing that we both lose. I need a face palm emote down here. Ooh, the car trade in on four nonetheless. Unfortunately for you, you can't actually reach me to attack me. Overall, I'd say this is extremely poor gameplay from the black player. It's one thing to block me, it's another thing to not get anything else yourself. 
Oh, the white player gets broken by the bot. Maybe there's hope. I think we car trade as well, and we hope to get good dice, because they're getting more troops per turn to me, so they can keep stacking more with me. So let's go ahead and do this and take a 27 versus 23 and hope for good dice. Fantastic dice. We love this. And we're actually going to force you entirely out of this little corner over here, because I don't want you over here. Actually, I force both of you out of here because the red player could also come in here and cause me problems. I want neither of you in here. Get out of my honey pot. It's mine. I will have it forever and always. The one upside to going last in turn order is I turn in my cards last for the bigger bonus. The bots kind of guard me from the white player and all these guys. Oh, the white player could take that 13 and come in here. Yeah, I'm glad I pushed the red player out. They turned in card trade for 12. They could stack that here and then come in and like maybe work even harder for it. Oh, please use that to break their North Africa and break their uh, Southeast Europe. Yes. Yes, this is fantastic. This is beautiful. The red player is evening the board. Oh, you're not gonna break it? You do break it. That's huge. That's great for everybody except for the white player. Only four troops for the white player. They're still the biggest on the board troops wise though. That does distract them for going for me. They grab back the Daenerys Alps and they choose to break the bot. Oh, they're attacking the bot all over. Are you trying to step to eliminate the bot? They're attacking the bot a lot. That was a weird turn. Did you leave and become a bot? You did leave and become a bot. Did you leave the second the red player broke you? You're still in first by a lot. You have almost double the troops of most other players. That's wild you just left this match. Okay, so orange and white are bots. I think red is still a player and black is still a player. So it's three humans left and two bots. And the two bots are buffered between myself and the other two players. The bots breaking each other is good for me. 12 troops for us is fantastic. The honey pot is beginning to pay off. Does, do you have a card trade in three there, Mr. Bot? I don't know if you do or not. Push you out of here. Let's break this from you. Anytime the bot could have a card trade, I'm gonna make sure to not stack inside of their bonus. I don't want them to card trade and slam me there. The red player moves very, very quickly. I think they're very good at the game. If they hold Russia and the Orient and North Africa, that's actually pretty bad for us. That'd be a 7, 10, 16 bonus, or I'm getting a 6, 10, 14 bonus. Card trade from the white player, but they are next to the white bot here. Who could do a lot of damage to them? Although I think these bosses can fight each other for the generic Alps over and over by the looks of it. Really? You don't go for that 9? Oh, you're lucky, red. I need the boss to stop fighting each other so much and fight these other two would be really nice for us. Doesn't seem to happen. I might need to eliminate the orange bot for three cards here. What's the card trade looking like? 20. Yeah. Unless the black player takes out the bot here, I need to try and do it. Do I have a card trade on three to make it happen? I do not. I need this stack right here. I need the orange bot to clear this out to free up my 15 stack to go for the elimination on them. Ooh, I like black hitting red there. Reduces both their troops for me. Yes, that's great. Get them angry at each other. Oh, the trade in. Okay, now you're not worth taking out. Oh, and they left that 12 stack on my border. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We'll put some over there and the rest over here. And we will go ahead and break the bot like so. Only leave three in there. And I'm actually going to fortify these up to here for more protection. Although fortifying that three back there would have also been a decent choice. I'm in the lead on troops right now, which is really nice. I'm worried red and black gang up on me. It's funny, the three of us who are fighting for the honeypot are the only three still in the match. All right, you've got the Orient now, so that's a total plus nine for you. I've got plus 10. I've got more income, so we're pretty even here still. Well, if you got more territories. Ooh, bad dice from you is great for me. You get that bonus, but you can't defend it very well. And you're pretty low on troops with only 23. You're very vulnerable right now. If only, these, yes, stack right there, bot, and at least break that. Yes, and then hit there and then there. Yes, 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 bot, please, bot, please. Oh, and it goes for the one, fantastic. Keep going, just keep going all the way through. Yeah, hit that, go for the Orient, go for the Orient. No, don't go that way. Don't let it hold the Orient. All right, well, at least you're damaging their troops a lot. And fortifying their border, fantastic. 10 troops for you, 25 troop trade-in. The way player didn't come back, did they? No, they're still a bot. That's a nice big 20 stack you have right there on Oslo. Ooh, 25 right over there. What you up to? You can try, are you trying to eliminate red? Oh, you're trying to eliminate red, but you screwed up and didn't take out this too? Did you just feed the red kill to me? If I have a card trade-in for you, did. Unless you kill guard it. You're just trying to break him. Oh, Red's probably got a card trade in four if they're saying oops, right? Fortify back right there and it gets the kill guard and I can't take it. Three troops for the bot. They're going right there. Do I have a card trade in four? I do. And it's for 30. I can take out Red and get their four cards and trade in again. That's huge for us, actually. 15 troops plus a card trade on four is huge. We stack it all right here for a big, massive stack. I'll deal with the bot later. We'll leave a few down this way to attack over here, maybe four. If I want to come back for that bot, we can do precisely that. We are going to do a lot of damage to red right now. 
My screen moves around as I'm attacking a bunch. And I need to path this perfectly. Also take my turn faster, like my actions faster rather. Just keep zooming through here. I need to do all kinds of damage. Black screwed up big time doing that and feeding me the red kill. There it is. That's the first one gone. Give me those cards. And we only put three down there. And we take this beautiful trade in and we stack. Ah, the white elimination is a bit trickier. The 26 can just come through. It'll be pinning itself back in there. I don't want to risk pinning myself back in. Let's go for the bot kill as well, just to get those cards. I'll do some damage here on that. Why not? We'll keep going through here. Hit this. We'll hit this. Good. Hit you over here for another elimination. Two of them back to back. Can I get the white player this turn or do I focus on damaging the black player? I can accomplish both, honestly. Actually, I don't have enough to get the white player. I did it wrong. That's fine. The white bot can chill for another turn. I'll go for you later. Let's do some more damage to you and then fortify this back over to... Do I really want to bury that? I don't think I do. I'm going to put it right here. That'll be fine. I've got a card trade on five. The black player does not have a card trade, neither do you. And we know the white player is a bot unless they came back. So we're in a very strong position here. The white player can easily take this 13 and go through and break these, I just realized. But I'm not worried about that. The card trade is worth 40, which is uh, honestly all I need to uh, take out the, the, the bot here and get their cards. 10 troops for you, but you have no card trade. They all go right there. They're going to go through and break me. That's fine. It's not going to be enough. I've got more troops than you, and I've got a card trade for you. If I take out the bot, that gives me two card trades next turn. It's a good job breaking my bonuses, but unfortunately you made it even easier for me now because you freed my 26 to be the one to go around doing a lot of damage to the bot. So we're going to do precisely that with this. Actually, I can actually path this slightly different to do some more damage to you as we go along the way. Move this slider a little bit so we lose less troops because of the weird slider mechanic in this game and just do all the damage we can around here and attack nice and quickly all the way through path it beautifully path it right we love the pathing we love it and we're just going to go ahead and do a lot of damage along the way put something down here just in case to get you out of there because i can probably get maybe chain a double elimination here if i do it right we'll see how my pathing is and where I leave my troops at. We'll find out. Wait, what did I miss? Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going down here. I was like, wait, was that not the elimination? We missed this right here, we get that. That's the white player taken out, or the bot rather, who used to be a player. Thank you for the cards. That's another card trade. I was counting on that. Thank you so very much. Probably take this out down here. If I put, I don't know, that much right there, should get the job done there. And we can do this over here to also hopefully maybe take out the black player in this turn as well if we can get a little bit lucky on our action speed here gotta go nice and quick nice and fast get him out of here little by little we will push you out of this please don't fail your rolls gotta move my slider all the way up gotta go faster though not going quick enough you could have a card trade on three i don't think that would matter come on quicker quicker gotta go gotta go thank you i would say good game well played back but i'm running out of time we gotta go fast before the turn ends and there it is you'll love to see it but i have plenty more videos you can watch too see you next time